We're going to make some fun wood slice ornaments today. We're going to start with a bit of acrylic gesso. You don't have to start with gesso, but I like to, otherwise the paint just soaks right into the wood. I'm using a flat brush here, and we'll go ahead and get started. You don't need to thin this out with any water. It just goes straight on to the ornament. And you cover it in a nice, thin layer and it covers pretty well. Now we're going to let the gesso dry and clean off our brush and start penciling in the outline of our Santa. It's very light in the video unfortunately. If you need a traceable, feel free to comment down below. I went ahead onto Pinterest and looked up pictures of Santa and found a few different references to make my own version of this cute illustrative Santa. I'm using acrylic wash on this ornament it's just like acrylic paint, but it dries matte. You could also use acrylic if that's what you have. I use two different brands and a few different colors. I'm using a size five brush around, as well as a size two and a very small zero liner. We're getting out our paint for the background, a mixture of blue and white. Feel free to go as dark or as light as you'd like. I like to move around my ornament as I paint to get into the little crevices if needed. Next, we're going to mix red and a bit of yellow. I wanted a bit of an orangey red for this Santa's hat. You can just use red if you like. I also added a little white to soften up the red as well. I'm using my smaller size two brush here. taking my time and enjoying the feel of the paint sliding over the gesso. Now I'm going to mix up some color for Santa's face. You can obviously do whatever flesh color you like. My Santa's going to be pale and a bit rosy. And I'm mixing on a piece of palette paper. You can find that at your local art store. And honestly, you could probably mix all these paints on just a regular sheet of paper if you like. Now I'm filling in Santa's face. It's just a little oval right under the hat. Now when I first started this Santa, I thought I wanted his hat to be a traditional white and red. So I decided to make his beard a little bit bluer 
than the white of his hat. But you'll see later, I go ahead and I change this, the color of his brim and the poof ball at the end. But because I wanted the beard and the brim of his hat to be slightly different colors, I took a very light bluish white to color in the beard. The great thing about acrylic paint is if you change your mind, all you have to do is paint right over it. So you'll see here, I wanted to add a little hair between the brim of the hat and the face. And again, at first I wanted this little poof ball to be white, so I went ahead and painted it in. I like painting over the gesso because I had some pencil lines in there that I wanted to color. Next, I'm drawing in Santa's face. It's just a long, thin triangle of a nose and two rosy cheeks and two upside down U's for eyes. I darkened up a bit of his face skin color, made it a little bit pinker and used my very tiny brush to paint in the nose. Then I started on his cheeks, and I love how rosy and happy he ends up looking in the end. Next, we're gonna take our black paint and go for the eyes. Now, to be honest, I was very anxious about this part. I always am. These are very thin lines and you really don't wanna mess it up, do you? But if you take a deep breath and just give it a shot, you'll probably be okay. And if you're not, you have to remind yourself, you can fix them. So I'm painting in his upside down U eyes, moving around the ornament to make my hand as stable as I could. You'll see here on this left eye, I made it a bit too thick. You can see right at this point. The great thing about acrylic, you have to remember, is that you can fix anything. So I'm fattening up his right eye just a little bit to match the left more. And then I go in with some more flesh paint and fix his eye, making it a bit thinner, just the way I wanted it. I think what scares people about painting is the fear of messing up. And honestly, I fight that fear every day. But guess what? Mistakes are a part of life. Here is where I decided to change Santa's hat's color. I took out a bit of my gold acrylic wash which is very shiny and fun, and started painting the brim of his hat. I had to loosen it up a bit with water because it was very gloopy, but then it spread on very nicely. It 
would be fun to add some glitter over this brim too. Just an idea if you want to have some fun. Time for his poof ball. Here's where I decided to floof up his beard and made it a little less light blue and more white. So I'm just adding some circles of white. A bit like adding highlights to his beard. And I almost forgot his big puffy eyebrows. I had to let this first layer dry and add a second layer so they'd show up a bit better. This was my favorite part, adding details to Santa's beard. I took some light blue and made two wide U's underneath his nose to make his beard. Just like the eyes, this can be a little tricky, but you can always fix it or do it over. I thickened the right side because it wasn't showing up very well. He looks so happy. I also added some shading, some more little U's around his beard to make it look curly. Last but not least, I wanted to add some snow to the background of the ornament, so I took my thin liner and added teeny tiny little dots for snowflakes. If you want to do this too, you can make the snowflakes bigger if you like. And he's all done! How cute. To finish off the ornament, I just bought some twine and I threaded it through the little hole and tied it in a knot and a bow at the top. Here's another Santa I did. I had so much fun with the first. He's more pinky. And if you don't want to do something Christmassy, here's a rainbow. Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun. I can't wait to share another tutorial with you. Have a great day.